Elbow arthroscopy or arthroscopy in general is keyhole surgery. Um, keyhole surgery has become quite common use now for lots of joints. Um, first really started with knees, but then has progressed to uh, lots of small joints, uh, including hand, wrist and, and, and also elbow. The purpose of keyhole surgery is that it's minimally invasive. So it really shouldn't damage the surrounding tissues. And if you imagine all joints have a baggy sheet called a capsule around it, we tend to make a little incision in the skin and a little incision into the capsule, as opposed to open surgery, where we're actually opening large uh, incisions in the skin and large incisions in the capsule. Actually, it's these capsule incisions that make the joints quite stiff. The indications for keyhole surgery are very much the indications for any surgery, especially in the elbow, and those could be related to trauma, it could be related to arthritis or tendonitis, or any inflammatory cause like rheumatoid arthritis, and sometimes undiagnosed pain. But all these patients would have had a workup first, they would have had perhaps an x-ray or an MRI scan, they may have seen the physio, they may have had an injection. When we perform it, it tends to be day surgery. Some under general anesthesia, sometimes we make the arm go dead with a block where we put an injection around the armpit. The patient tends to be over to the one side with the arm hanging over a small table. And then we use a combination of small cameras and uh, small instruments to look inside the joint. Interestingly, with keyhole surgery, you can get a better view of the actual joint uh, and the joint is made of cartilage. Uh, and sometimes the surrounding tendons uh, than actually with open surgery. The, the ideal candidates tend to be any demographic or any age, male or female. Um, obviously the, the younger patients uh, um, in the adolescence are a little bit harder sometimes because the joints are a bit tight to get into. Um, but we do look at the, the medical um, history of patients. So some people who have lots of medical problems may still have um, the, uh, problems with having, having the positioning or, or having this kind of surgery. We find that um, patients have had previous surgery around the elbow, have a lot of scarring as well. So once again, it, it really depends on what the surrounding nerves are looking like and whether they've been touched before and what scarring is in the elbow. The kind of procedures we can do it really going to a couple of broad uh, categories. The, the, the patients presenting with tennis elbow um, traditionally have open surgery. They can have this done through keyhole. The recovery is a bit quicker. Um, they have another group of patients related to inflammatory changes. Perhaps they have loose bodies within the actual uh, uh, joint themselves and they're little floating bodies that cause the joint to lock or, or, or little bits of scar called plica that can be removed from keyhole. Um, and then another group of patients are the arthritic patients where the elbow itself is very stiff and doesn't really move much. So by going in with burrs and shavers, you can remove the small uh, fragments of bone that could be causing the blockage. The good news is with keyhole surgery, it doesn't preclude open surgery at, at the same time or preclude open surgery at a later date. Um, the recovery is pretty quick because I mentioned about the capsule hasn't been fully opened. So we tend to allow patients to move straight away. The wounds heal much better um, and, and therefore, yeah, return back to work, return back to most activities. So for the specific indication that you're using your, your keyhole surgery for, whether it's to remove a loose body, whether it's to treat a tennis elbow, whether it's to remove some bony block that may have been caused by arthritis, the success rate's very good, the recovery is very good. Um, and I'm definitely an advocate of, of, of keyhole surgery in the elbow, in fact, of any hand or wrist or elbow joint, as long as the right indications are there.